heart cells that continuously adjust with you to provide the right level of support and comfort. Experience the Smart Life mattress at Sit and Sleep. Are you ready for the opportunity of a lifetime? Behind me is a dream house that anyone can win, and it's being raffled off as a benefit for Special Olympics Southern California. Five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and the living room opens to an outdoor oasis. With a sparkling pool and cabana, you can entertain all year long. There are over 3,000 additional prizes, with the odds of winning a prize being one in 20. Get your tickets now for the Dream Big Raffle by dialing 800-816-6108. For me, Ford makes the best truck. Excelente rendimiento en gasolina. Tiene el mismo poder que una troca grande. Trading in Tacoma for a new Ford Ranger. Ford Ranger, if you don't have one, you need to go get one. Right now, get 0% APR for 60 months on the rugged 2021 Ford Ranger. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley, Vice President Kamala Harris in Poland this morning, meeting with Ukrainian refugees. Her visit to Europe coming after a disagreement between the U.S. and Poland on how to help Ukraine combat Russian forces. We'll explain. Gail Anderson here in East Hollywood outside the Ukrainian Culture Center, a great resource for information about what's happening between Russia and Ukraine. Another great resource, Charity Navigator, which has set up a special website, special information with information about legitimate charities helping women and children. Details when we come back. And good morning, I'm Megan Tellis standing outside of Crenshaw High School where a massive on-campus brawl took place yesterday. Coming up, we are hearing from one student and her mother about what could have led up to the big fight. Stick with me, I'll have the details. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes, the director of a blockbuster film mistaken for a bank robber, who it is, and the apology issued by Bank of America. Thursday morning, or Friday Eve, as we like to call it, and a beautiful day in the storm in Southern California. It gets windy a little bit, though, in some areas. Those winds are going to be picking up later on this afternoon. We could see some of the gusts reaching even up to 60 miles an hour and some damaging winds. Coastal areas, high today, 63. Downtown, 65. San Fernando Valley, 69 degrees. 60 in the high deserts. Uh, Inland Empire and Orange County Inland, they both have a slight chance of a shower. 69 for Orange County Inland, Inland Empire up to 67 degrees. Carlos, check it out traffic today. Mark, good morning in for Ginger Chan this morning. We have a few trouble spots this morning, but we're focusing on this one here in Linwood. This is at the 105 westbound at the 710. Sky 5 was overhead earlier this morning. It started at 5 a.m., still working, and now a sick alert and overturned semi. It crashed with two other vehicles. You can see this major slowing in that area. Garfield on ramp to the northbound and southbound 710, and the westbound 105 to the 710. Both closed this morning. It is going to be this way for at least another hour as crews continue to work in that area. Over we go to the Rosmore area, 405 South at the 22, a crash reported in that area. Big rig versus a sedan blocking the number three lane. Unknown injuries at this time, but take a look at the major slowing in that area and going into it as well. You want to avoid it as much as you can this morning for now. That is our latest check on traffic. Frank, I'll send it over to you. Carlos, thank you. Another round of talks between Russia and Ukraine this morning did not lead to any progress on a ceasefire. Meantime, Vice President Harris is in Poland saying the U.S. and Poland are united against Russian President Vladimir Putin. KTLA's Eric Spillman in the newsroom with more. Eric, good morning. Morning, Frank. Vice President Harris again expressing outrage at what Russia is doing, as so many people have around the world, as Russia continues to target innocent civilians in Ukraine. Russia's attack on a maternity and children's hospital in the southern city of Mariupol is being called an atrocity. We now know that three people died. One of them was a child. 17 other people were hurt, including pregnant women who were waiting to give birth. The airstrike left a crater in front of the hospital that is two stories deep. Russia claims the site was being used by Ukrainian fighters, and it says all the nurses and patients were removed before the bombing, despite pictures proving that's not true. Ukraine's president said, what kind of a country is this, Russia, which is afraid of maternity hospitals and destroys them. He accused Russia of genocide. Vice President Kamala Harris on a visit to Poland this morning said Russia should be investigated for war crimes.